Good morning, this is John Wren, and this is the Startup Show with a new name. We're going to announce right now a new name for this show. We do it each morning, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Uh, Denver time, that's noon Eastern, or 9 o'clock Pacific, and we talk about startup. If you're starting in a new direction with your work, you want to start a new career, you want to start a new project or campaign within an existing organization, or if you want to start a new business, we hope you'll take a quick coffee break here with us each morning. Now, on Friday, it's a bit more of an extended show. We say this is to help you have a startup week. And the uh, uh, purpose of that will become clear. Now, we're changing our name, and that's uh, all related. There's this, I put out a meditation from time to time, prayasyougo.org, which is done by the Jesuits in the United Kingdom. I think it's just terrific. And I think anyone with uh, out religious prejudice that's able to substitute higher power for anything that smacks of higher power in this, I think gets a lot from it. I did this morning, and I'm as prejudiced as anybody. I have my own ideas. I have my own religious practices, but that's separate from what I do here, except for the result of that, and that is, I think this is spiritual startup, and it, it happened that way this morning. I mean, I got up ready to throw on the sponge, listen to praiseyougo.org about wise and foolish, and uh, I'm good to go, and I think this may be our best show ever. One of the things I've been inspired to do this morning is announce the change of the name of the show. It's not just the startup show. After today, we're going to call it the Start, Grow, and Finish show. Now, in the end, we all flourish. So if you're not flourishing, it's not finished. And we have to keep starting new projects, new campaigns. It's a continual process. Some people call it pivot. Well, it's much more than a pivot. And uh, this wise and foolish meditation, I really urge you to go and listen to today's meditation and think about what you're doing with your lamp. Do you have enough oil. And I think we get oil from books that we read, from things like this, except for some. And uh, we're going to call it the Start, Grow, and Finish show, because if you're not flourishing, you're not finished. And we want to help you do that with our Small Business Chamber of Commerce spiritual startup model. If you're starting a new career, a new project, or campaign, or a new business, we think it's helpful. It's helped me. It's helped me today. And we have to first recover, get back up on our feet. When I'm feeling down and out in the morning, I have to take some time to reconnect with that power greater than myself, or I have a miserable day. And I did that this morning, and I believe this show is a result of that. Now, you'll help me see that. If, if this has the effect of you, it's the same. You'll do a watch party with your friends, invite them to join you in something similar. And what we're trying to do is precipitate small groups across the country and neighborhoods. If we had a healthy small group in each neighborhood, I think that it would revolutionize things in 2020. And Monday, I'll tell you more about my political view on that. Now, any of this stuff I'm talking about is me. I call it the Small Business Chamber of Commerce, Inc. It's a Colorado nonprofit corporation, but it's beyond nonprofit. There's no money in, no money out. It's been a labor of love for me. And I've announced before that I'm just speaking for myself, but I'm at the point now that I need your help. We're going to form uh, my final Franklin Circle. I've been forming these for a long time, and this will be the final one. It'll serve as a steering committee, and then possibly some of the people will become board members of the Small Business Chamber of Commerce, Inc., and will try to uh, monetize what we're doing here so it's ongoing and hire someone that would pay that does a much better job than me. But what we'll stick with is this idea that I think is divinely inspired that startup is spiritual. I think mean, it's a spiritual practice. It's what's made this country great. And unfortunately, we now have a tax-funded enterprise to snuff out that entrepreneurial spirit in America. It's a small business administration formed in 1953. If you look at what the impact has been on our economy, what's it done? It's just about killed entrepreneurship, true entrepreneurship. And the people that understand this and work towards true entrepreneurship have a hard time keeping their job, don't they, Victor? And Victor, especially you, but anyone watching this, I'd like you to get on a plane, fly to Denver International Airport, take the light rail to the commons on Champa, 
And at 2.30, be there for the Idea Cafe Startup Workshop. And I'm going to tell you more about this name change, why we're doing it. And on Monday, I'm going to announce something that I'll give you a preview of this afternoon of what I think John Hickenlooper and Michael Bennett could do to form a cabinet and take over the government with, I'm not talking about a violent overthrow, I'm talking about an overthrow though, immediately, and that Trump gets, well, you kind of have to see it, and I'll, I'll tell you more about it if you come this afternoon. But our method is um, a spiritual startup method, and it starts with the Idea Cafe Startup Workshop. That's each Friday at 2.30 at the Commons on Champa. It's right across the street from the RTD light rail stop for the theater district and convention center. And so if you go to DIA, you can take the light rail and be there at 2.30 if you leave right now. Uh, now, if you can't do it today, do it next Friday. We do that each Friday. It's at 2.30 Denver time at the Commons on Champa. And uh, it's Idea Cafe Startup Workshop. And it's for the practice of imagine. That's all we do, green light thinking. I have a technique I learned from uh, the authors of the book Just Start, which is the book I recommend now, Har Harvard Business Review Press, Just Start. And it's kind of what I did this morning that's led me to this show with you right now. But again, and I won't keep harping on this, but it's just me and you right now. And the person that you share this with on a watch party you know, we're not taking political positions, we're not endorsing candidates, not even Hickenlooper or, or Bennett, I'm just giving them an idea on Monday, uh, but we don't endorse candidates or issues. We don't want to uh, do anything other than try to help educate people and strengthen the grassroots in both business and politics. All of a sudden, populism has gotten a bad name, so maybe it's not populism, but it is you know, and Dwight Eisenhower said in our system of government, politics has to be the part-time occupation of every citizen. And I don't think you can do that until, you can't do it fully until you've got a business of your own. Now, that doesn't mean that business owners are the only ones that count, but they are the ones that formed this country and have helped it grow for the last 240-some years. And if that changes, then we've lost it. This is a grand experiment you know, when Benjamin Franklin left the Constitutional Convention, supposedly the wife of the mayor asked him, Dr. Franklin, what kind of government have you given us? And Franklin said, Madam, we've given you a republic if you can keep it. And we're not keeping it right now. This 107 and 108 passed. We're going to do the presidential primary test again here in Colorado. I predict chaos and it will switch back. Colorado Caucus, you can look it up in Wikipedia if you don't know what it is, but it's woven together. How do you earn a living and how do you participate in government? Everybody needs to do a, a minimum, read a newspaper and vote. You know, not just vote. If you don't vote, if you're not reading the newspaper, I just assume you not vote myself. And to force people to vote the way we want them to, it's almost uh, criminal. But it's not just business, it's business and politics in this country. And the grassroots has been ignored. Both parties have done a poor job of reaching out. Morgan Carroll wrote a book that I thought was a step in the right direction, but I can't get her to answer my phone call. I'm hoping that maybe if somebody will get this to her, she'll call me. I think her book ought to be in the hands of every citizen in Colorado. And uh, maybe we have to tweak it a bit, Morgan, but um, can you be with us this afternoon at the Commons on Champa, 2.30, we'll talk about this more, but we talk about it in this structure of the Small Business Chamber of Commerce spiritual startup method, and that starts with the, the recovery, getting back up on our feet. Now, if you're, having, if you're open to a spiritual way of living or if you're new in recovery, you're getting back up on your feet, there's an informal gathering, it's a social gathering each Monday at 130, 1311 York Street. It's free and open to everybody. If you're open to a spiritual way of startup, just come in the front door on the east side of 1311 York Street, come right up the stairs to the third floor, and we're there each Monday at 130. Uh, it's a place where newcomers to recovery can bring their problems. It's not this, that, or the other group. It's just a social gathering. 
I'll be there, and it might be just me and you. That's what it was Friday. Thanks for coming, Ed. And uh, it's always a good meeting. Sometimes it's just me, and I read one of my books for an hour. But it's a social gathering, and uh, bring your problems and recovery to it. And, and come if you're open to a spiritual way of living. You've got spiritual solutions to share. You know, Time Magazine said that was the genius of a guy named Bill Wilson. He invented something with 12 steps, and it was the first time people with all types of religious beliefs could sit down together and share what they had in common instead of fight. Now, the Vatican's representative to the Middle East was at Regis University, and I got to ask him, well, why not the 12 steps in the Middle East? And he said, well, yeah, it's a great idea probably would help, but um, they don't drink. And that got a big laugh. But, you know, I couldn't connect with him after the thing I tried to. But I seriously mean that. I think what we're starting here could lead to world peace. That's a fairly lofty objective. But it's not if it's just selfish and self-centered. And that's what the wise and the foolish is about. Listen to prayasyougo.org, pray about it, and then come on Monday at least and share with us at the... Um, Social Gathering, 1311 York Street, 130 each Monday. Idea Cafe today, 2.30, Commons on Champa. Then tonight at 6 o'clock in Lodo. Tomorrow at 6.30 at the University of Denver. Or Tuesday at, uh, now it's 6.30 at the uh, Trinity Methodist Church, right across the street from the Brown Palace. Those are the three times of Socrates cafes that are for the practice of think. It's not much enough to just imagine. Imagine is what we talk about at the Idea Cafe, and then we think. Think is a practice, you know, like a doctor practices medicine. A violinist practices the violin, and we practice recover, getting back up on our feet. The marker that we've gotten back up on our feet is imagine. People without a vision perish, and we imagine then we think. It's not just leap before you look. You do think, but not in the way that I say I'm a recovering MBA because what I was taught in graduate business school, I've had to overcome to actually help people who are starting in a new direction with their work. And uh, But thinking is important, and uh, I think we get practice at the Socrates Cafe. So those are the three. You can come tonight. If you come to Denver, you may want to make a reservation. Right now, and stay overnight, go to the uh, Socrates Cafe on Friday nights. It's at Panera, 16th and Market. It's free and open to everybody. And we pick a topic at the meeting, share our thoughts, ask each other questions. And it's a lot of fun. So that's tonight. Tomorrow, it's at the University of Denver, 630. And Tuesday, uh, 630 at uh, Trinity Methodist Church. So that's Recover. <clears throat> Imagine. Imagine's the marker that we've gotten back up on our feet. Imagine without recover is a nightmare. And we re recover, imagine, think, and learn. We learn by doing. Now, the OTA model is another expression of this. And go to Wikipedia, Google OTA loop, and I think that our four practices fit right into that. And I think we go through that OTA loop at least three times in every new career, new project or campaign or new business. And we go through it as we start, as we grow, and as we flourish. So if it's true, and I believe it is, that in the end we all flourish, you know, if you're not flourishing yet, you're just not finished. So that's what we do is go through those four practices, and practice makes perfect. And so we practice uh, the recover, imagine, think, and learn, and we do it three times as we start, we grow, and we flourish. Well, more about it this afternoon at the uh, Commons on Champa, 2.30 Idea Cafe Startup Workshop. Love to have you with us. More along these lines on Monday, but please share this as a watch party with your Facebook friends who you think might benefit, and if I'm missing something, let me know. We're going to fix it. As the twig is bent, so the tree grows. We're very much a twig right now. It's just me and you and whoever you share this with. But I am looking for a few good people to be in this final Franklin Circle that will either meet face-to-face -face here in Denver once a week or it may meet online once a week. I haven't decided yet. 
but let me know if you're interested or if I can help you in any way. Don't hesitate to call. It's John Wren, Small Business Chamber of Commerce, Inc. We'd like to help you do more good work. And that number again, 303-861-1447. Well, please do a watch party with your friends. And uh, remember, this life is very short. So let's go get started.